welcome to the sixth episode of Monday Night Raw Universe Mode. I did, I didn't even expect to get six episodes, even though this would last. But um, you guys keep supporting these episodes. They'll keep coming. They'll, this one's a little bit earlier. This is now gonna be on Sunday. Hope you guys will catch it, cause you know Super Bowl is gonna be at like 6:30, and I'm recording this at like two o'clock, so I don't know when they'll be premiering or whatever. So I hope you guys will catch it before Super Bowl, and I hope this episode will be way better than the actual Monday Night Raw tomorrow. I'll be kind of busy tomorrow or something. We'll see what happens. Maybe I'll stream later. I don't know. But we have a bunch of matches here. A bunch of things confirmed. Brock Lesnar, why did he attack Seth Rollins last week? Why did he do it? We'll find out. The Fiend opponent. Who's going to face the Fiend at the Elimination Chamber? We'll find out. Will it be Kane or Randy? Or we'll find out everything tonight. It's a stacked show. We'll find out everything. But who will kick us off on this first episode of Monday Night Raw of the week? Ladies and gentlemen, Elias. Typical. Elias interrupts. Hello, I am Elias. As the man who holds the power of the wind in his fists, I've got one question for everybody here tonight. Who wants to walk with Elias? Now, I have been all across the world. I've been to Paris, I've been to Italy, all across Europe, South America, South Africa, you name it, Elias has been there and it has brought me here tonight. And it seems everywhere I go, no matter what I do, a universal truth follows me. And I am certain that everyone here knows it. It is that WWE stands for... I said WWE stands for... Well, I gotta tell you, I certainly came prepared with a song tonight, but before I get started, I need you all to do a few things for me. I need you to silence your cell phones, hold your applause, and shut your mouth! I'm waiting for a town that's not such a disgrace But I see so many stupid people I wanna punch them in the face for a town that's not such a disgrace But I see so many stupid people I wanna punch them in the face So Elias has been always interrupting me in some other night Ross. Typical Elias Oh, one. Daniel Bryan is back. What? We've not seen Daniel Bryan in Universe in like such a long time. He's not even had one match except for the Royal Rumble. He's been out for some time. Being a father. Now maybe it's time to come back to the wrestling world. I think it is time. Daniel Bryan taking some time off to focus on his family, everything else, Brie Bella. But now. I want to come back and Dana Bryan uh, Elias. I don't think we ever ever seen this stare up in WWE. Elias, you better run. It's Dana freaking Bryan. You're going after it. It's a match. Okay, first match of the evening spine buster from Elias. And Elias is brutally attacking and Dana Bryan. I did not expect Dana Bryan to come back so soon. Oh, Dana Bryan. Oh, stuns Elias. Get to his feet. Still with his hood. Knee right to the face. Oh no. Well, what a match we start with Dana Bryan's first singles match in such quite a while. I did not I thought he would be on maybe like SmackDown to give those boost up the ratings, but maybe it's be on Raw. 
Maybe the boost this rating show, but Darabai going right after Elias with huge shots into the corner. And a huge superplex on the back of Elias' neck. And Elias being mayhem now by Dana Bryan. Oh my goodness. Elias is not the lucky man. What is going on? Oh, it's the... Yes, lock. It's locked in. It is locked in. Elias has to tap out. That's all you have to do. I can't believe Dana Bryan's back, ladies and gentlemen. But it, it seems like the Fiend may be here on Mother Night Raw. If you... If that ever happens with the controls like that, you see, like, spamming, bam, bam, you know that's when the Fiend's coming. And you know he's there. And... Well, Dana Bryan's back. He might be not missing WrestleMania, which was rumored to be happening. But Dana Bryan is returned to the WWE. But coming up next is someone else who recently returned after War Rumble entrant number 29. The face that runs the place, John Cena. He's on free agent on Raw and SmackDown. Now let me just say, SmackDown, whatever happened to SmackDown, the stream I did was not good. So I'm back to doing premieres. I'm not live streaming. I know I thought I could do it, but probably for the pay-per-views, yes, I will have to stream those because I'm not going to do single parts of five parts of this Raw well, freaking WrestleMania. So I will be doing those as live. So you guys can hang out when it's live. Hope you guys are here watching this. But what is on John Cena's mind? So nothing. Whatever. Christian came out of retirement to face Finn Balor. Uh, John Cena did not face uh, Shinsuke Nakamura. He's not on SmackDown. We don't say anything about that. So I didn't do it. I I did finish it, but I deleted it because it's not a good story. So what you we'll have to just fix that. But John Cena is here. What's he have to say? For months. For months, I've been coming out here for months. I've not been here. I've been in Hollywood, they say. They say I'm just a part-time piece of crap. But you know what? That's not true. Maybe it is. Maybe I am part-time. I need to prove to myself. I need to prove to my fans and my audience. I'm still the same John Cena from 10 years ago, 15 years ago, 20 years ago. And on SmackDown, there's one man been calling me out, Hulk Hogan, wanting for one more match at WrestleMania. And you know what? That match with Hulk Hogan, I'll have one thing to say. Wait a minute. What the heck? Samoa Joe interrupts John Cena. I do not quite get this at all. So Mojo's not been really on Monday Night Raw that much, except for returning last week. You know, a lot of superstars may not be here, you know. The tops guys, well, I don't even know what I'm saying, but a lot of stars will not be here as every week. So Mojo, what's he have to say? You know, John Cena, remember me? Your backstory, partner, friend? Ladies and gentlemen, if you don't know, me and John Cena used to be tag team partners, best friends. Yes, that's right. Me and Samoa Joe, we used to be friends in the BCW, whatever. What was NXT 18 years ago? I decided they put me up on a main roster against Kurt Angle. While you left to go in a long way, how could you? What? Let another John listen. You need to know that the fans need to know the real backstory. You're not. From just one of those rookies to turn to the biggest star in WWE. You were with me. And if it wasn't for me leaving WWE, it would probably me be the face of WWE. I would have been the most successful guy in WWE. Possibly even in been some movies. Not like you, following The Rock's footsteps. Okay, I'm shocked right now. So, Samojo. Are you looking to challenge me to a match? I mean, that's one of the rumored matches nobody has ever saw in their in their like whole lifetime. Nobody even knew the backstory between me and you. The John Cena backstory is an interesting backstory. You want to know something? I will kick your ass right now. 
and we'll do it right now. We'll fight each other. Well, John Cena, John Cena, John Cena, is that a challenge you want? I would accept it. You better you interrupt me like this. This is the backstory. We're friends. But tonight, we're not friends. We're enemies. Headbutt from John Cena. And that probably was the biggest mistake John Cena could have done to a man like Samoa Joe. What is this? John Cena going right after Samoa Joe. Oh, no. This is not... This is not... Show the tackle. No. Joe reversed the... He just, he just like ran out of the way. Took control now. John Cena going after his legs. Tripped John Cena. And stopping John Cena. I am shocked. And it's John Cena being manhandled by Samoa Joe. Oh, no, the chop. Samoa Joe's been. I never seen this match. I never thought these two men could ever face in the WWE. But superplex. Ay, yay, yay. On the back of the neck of John Cena. What? I did not expect this. And Samoa Joe. Going, oh, John Cena reversed it. He's going right after Samoa Joe for revenge, too. But so right, those straight up punches the John Cena. What is this? Oh! Yikes. John Cena must be hurt right now. He's, he's not really doing so good. I mean, oh, he's gonna reverse it. Taking shots at Samoa Joe again. Oh no, Samoa Joe once again reversed that. John Cena though, not gonna let that happen. He's going right after Samoa Joe. Samoa Joe chops again. Those chops. Cena blocks it. Punches. But Joe blocks it, ch chops. Oh my god. Again, blocked it, just came back like that. S body slam, kind of. Weird one, John Cena. Oh no. Destroy. It's trying to. No way. Oh my. The strength of this man is unbelievable. John Cena is the strongest guy you can ever possibly see on his brand. But takes down Samoa Joe. Braun Strowman and Samoa Joe were supposed to have a match, but that is canceled now due to attack by John Cena. But as you guys may see, these matches are happening tonight. CM Punk, a fatal forward match for the Raw Women's Championship, is also scheduled for tonight. So, Hulk Hogan wants John Cena at WrestleMania. Samoa Joe and John Cena. John Cena wants Samoa Joe. Teach him a lesson. They're calling him out. Can we see that dream matches happen before WrestleMania and that WrestleMania? We'll find out sooner rather than later. But the man known as a Swiss cyborg, Cesaro, has arrived on Monday Night Raw to face Cedric Alexander for the first time. Cedric Alexander has been on a losing streak, they say. Can he prove himself tonight by the veteran Cesaro? The Swiss cyborg gets to skip his entrance, but you know, he's a Superman. But the man, Cedric Alexander, the man to make a name for himself here in the WWE. Can he? He can very well do that, make a name for himself. He's a he's an up and comer star. You know, he's a really talented wrestler, and I believe he can possibly defeat the man known as Cesaro. And then, guys, I've been thinking lately that I should. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna say because I don't know if that's possible. And if it is, that'll be a huge surprise. But now nah, I'm not gonna spoil it. Uh, you, uh, if you're wondering, I'll probably say one time, no, not this time, another time. But as I was saying, for Cedric Alexander, he's won a cruiserweight title. He was in the face of the cruiserweight division in 2018. You know, him and Buddy Murphy were great matches. But we'll find out what Cedric Alexander is gonna do. Oh, I'm so tired a little bit. Oh, a huge kick from Cesaro to take down Cedric Alexander. And look at the strength of this guy. Yikes. This Cesaro man is just the strongest Superman. He's, he's like the John Cena. Possibly even stronger than John Cena. Probably like Cesaro's a top guy. Oh. Cedric Alexander going to taunt this man right now. Wow. And Cedric take on, takes down Cesaro right on the leg. Did not expect that. And oh. Going for a trouble in paradise. Oh, clothesline. And just jumps like that. Huge talk from like the Hulk to Hulk Hogan. The American hero. I did not really expect. Oh, oh. So, oh. 
cracking his neck now looks to realize this man is a tough challenge he's gonna really go on and he wasn't even trying possibly now he's really gonna try um so Cesaro doesn't even have to try nobody to fight oh he just missed that Sh um the dive and Cesaro would oh time to hurt oh knees right to the face oh and a leg drop and another leg drop yeah, yeah, yeah. and a third leg drop to so to freaking Cedric Alexander now trying to trying to rip his hair out his beard and that's gonna hurt Cesaro not hurt Cesaro gonna hurt really bad for freaking Cedric Alexander oh dude slam but this guy no soul is so powerful Cedric Alexander gonna make a name for himself here superplex to Cesaro I don't believe it oh goes for a backbreaker move now what's Cedric Alexander going to do now on the top rope elbow drop I missed that he missed that he missed that shot he missed it so much what is he going for El elbow right to the heart of Cesaro he's looking for another elbow a huge one a diving elbow drop oh Oh, what the heck was that? So Zaro just stood there and such a guy was gonna need to like work on it. Work on his moves a little bit. You know, I believe he can be a huge world champion one day like Cesaro. But Cesaro's not even a world champion. I'm shocked at that. I don't even know what's gonna happen with Cesaro here in WWE. We'll find out. Uppercut! Yeah, yeah, yikes. And a huge boot. No. What's. Oh! Powerbomb. Right there and then. And what is Cedric Alexander doing? He's just flexing now. He's, he's actually putting up a fight against Cesaro. I thought Cesaro was going to dominate this man and put him to the ground, and that's it. But it looks to be not. Yeah, not yet. Most of coming near the ropes. One. And Cesaro able to kick out of that. And that breaker move, once again, that's a huge advantage now. You injure Cesaro. You go after his neck, that's a really painful experience. Oh! And what an elbow drop that was, but missed by S Cedric Alexander. Struggle in paradise! And, and, and so that almost is just like going on the ring. I don't believe it. And in the ropes, uh oh. The fiend, Bray Wyatt, is still here. Lurking on the superstars. That's not, that's not good. When the fiend's in here, when he's here, that's not good for the superstar. An elbow drop from Cedric Alexander. Wow. Goes for the cover on Cesaro. One, two, and Cesaro kicked out. Cedric cannot believe it. I can't believe it as well. Cesaro, tough man. He's a cyborg, they say. No wonder. Cedric goes right after him. Face buster. That's it. Go for the cover. One. So no, and he kicks out. That's not. That's. I am shocked. Cesaro is. Is he about to defeat Cesaro? What a victory this could be for Cedric Ogden, the biggest victory of his career. And at this point, oh my God, he just went for it. His finisher. I forgot his finisher for some reason. Go for a combat though. He's not done. This Cedric Ogden is not done. Go for combat moves. He's not finished with Cesaro, not yet. Oh. Lumbar check. He went for, yeah, that was right. Lumbar check. Get Cesaro up on his feet. Face Buster again. He's going for another pinfall cover. One. Two. Oh my, Cesaro kicks out. Oh my god, Cesaro. He had me there. Oh, oh no, I'm looking for another Lumbar check. This can be it. Cesaro maybe just finished here. Oh my god, he goes for it. Cedric going right to the arm of Cesaro, but you gotta go for the pinfall. One, two, one count. Cesaro, oh my god, just stops it. Uppercut from the air. Oh my god, you hear the booze at Cesaro. Cesaro going for a sharpshooter. A sharpshooter. This can't be good. That's gonna be have to do it. Probably gonna be it. Sharpshooter. To 
Cedric Alexander. This has to be it. I don't know if the Rock's finisher. That's, that was the Rock signature. Bret Hart's finisher. What else do you want? Bret Hart the man. And now Cesaro carrying that legacy. But Rick, Cedric just stopped that. And he's got out of that somehow, someway. But Cesaro not going to let this happen. He's not going to let this ever happen again. He just uppercut again to Cedric Alexander. Not again, huge uppercut. Oh my god, now Cesaro going for that pinfall, but it's a rope break. Right in the ropes. Right in there and right in the ropes. Uh oh. The neutralizer is out, oh, that's it. Cesaro won this match. Oh. Uh, oh no. Cesaro looking for the big one. The Cesaro swing. This is the end. Nobody's ever been able to stop. Go continue after this. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Probably mind going to the head. Oh my god. Oh. Strong guy Cesaro is one, two, three. What a match this was on Monday Night Raw to start off the show for the first match. I don't believe it. Cesaro picks up a victory over Cedric Alexander. And Cedric is not the better man tonight, but Cedric is a little bit hurt. He must have injured ribs from Cesaro. I don't... Oh, we need to get a medic out here. Oh, wait. No, 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 no. Cesaro. Oh, come on. This is unnecessary. Unnecessary. Come on. Oh, my goodness. Come on. Unnecessary. And again, to the steel steps. Stop this. You have to stop it. But coming up next is another match. We don't take breaks. Is Mojo Raleigh going to 101 with the man known as Alistair Black? Alistair Black looking for the Elimination Chamber spot. Tonight, the winner of the match will be entering the Elimination Chamber. Alistair Black said. He's entering the Elimination Chamber no matter what. And tonight he says pathetic like Mojo Raleigh. I mean, we got a bunch of... It's going to be crazy. It will be crazy. It's going to be nuts. We'll find out what happens. The man, Alistair Black. Looking for an opportunity at the Fiend Bray Wyatt at WrestleMania. That is an interesting match. The Fiend and Aleister Black for the World Heavyweight Championship. But we can still figure out maybe because maybe Randy can defeat Kane and possibly get a rematch and beat the Fiend. We can get something else. We can get Kane. It could be any possibilities. Nobody knows. The only man for the announced for the Elimination Chamber on Monday Night Raw is Seth Rollins. Aleister Black so far. Seth Rollins is injured currently. And is unable to compete here tonight. But we'll find out the future. He might be replaced next week. We'll find out because of the hands of Brock Lesnar. What happened? We'll find out. The man. The next Undertaker. The newest evil spirit here in the WWE. Aleister Black. Running for a fight. And he's going to get that fight. With Mojo Raleigh. I, I, I'm sorry, whoever is a v victim to Alistair Black is like the Black Mass out of nowhere is just like the RKO out of nowhere. It only takes one of them. It only takes one. And one superstar has just been a victim to this to Tedis O'Neill. He's been out for months and now he's not going to be out on TV for a little while now. And now you have another superstar known as Alistair Black to take down Massively. A guy like Mojo Raleigh. We're going to find out what happens next. So stay tuned on the show. And some long entrance.
Alistair Black is ready. Tonight is a big one. Can Alistair Black prove himself? Oh, oh, Mojo Rawley takes him down. Oh my god, I did not expect that to happen. Mojo Rawley going right after the arm of Alistair Black. Maybe this could be an advantage. Oh, I was about to say maybe for Mojo Rawley, but Alistair Black not going to be just like that. He's not done like that. Reverse that. Alistair Black going for a huge suplex now. Okay. Suplex connecting. The Fiend Bray Wyatt is lurking. Oh no, Alistair Black, don't go for it! Oh my god, suicide dive! Holy crap, that is brutal. Oh my god. Now what's Alistair Black going for? DDT outside the ring. That is freaking brutal. Really brutal right now. The Alistair Black is just the size difference. Oh! He's just like dominating, he's like a spirit for real. Meditating in the air. So oh! Oh, Mojo Rawley sends Alistair Black into the steel steps right now. Alistair Black trying to fight it though. He's trying to so hard. Trying to fight out of this. And Mojo Rawley. Can oh, he's shocked. Back and forth. Now Mojo Rawley going. Luth that is press on this man. And you're not going to stop the Alistair Black like that. You need to go after him. I'm surprised that Alistair Black is being a little bit manhandled by it. A man like Mojo Rawley is twice as, probably bigger than him, like much larger, and you know, I, I have no idea what's going to happen. Oh, mostly outside the ring this match. We want to get back in that ring, Alistair Black, to break up that count. And he gets in that ring. Oh no, Alistair Black is on the top rope here. He's on the top rope. Oh, missed the shot, missed the dive there, missed the, he missed the dive. And I'm going for a black mask early, but no. I know it was that is press from Mojo Raleigh. Impressive from Mojo Raleigh. But Alistair Black is up. Go for a black mask does not connect. Oh my god, the fans are hyped in this match. Mojo going for something. But Alistair countered it. He blocked it. Alistair Black, black mask! To Mojo Raleigh. Here's the cover. Oh my god, defeats Alistair. Alistair Black just defeated one of the top guys on Monday Night Raw, Mojo Raleigh, with one black mask to end it all. Oh my god. But, matches here tonight. We'll have a tag team match. We can't do that. We don't know much time that much. But, the Akam and Rezar are facing. Um, the Viking Raiders and the Usos at the Elimination Chamber for the titles. But coming up next is Eric Rowan going against, well, I guess Rowan against Kevin Owens here tonight. Rowan's had a change of attitude lately. He's not been seen that much. He wants to regenerate his character. And what a way going after one of the top guys known as Kevin Owens on Monday Night Raw. Eric Rowan's a veteran. He's been here a long time now. I remember when this guy debuted in WWE 2K15. But and he debuted in 2013. But Nero Smalley debuted in 2014. And been here since then. And that's a long, long time. Six years almost. But in real life, he's been here for seven years. It's impressive. He's a, he's a guy, you know, he's been here for a long time. Like, it's impressive. But he's not been released. His buddy Luke Harper, though, has been unfortunately released from the WWE in Need Smoke. And he lost to um, MVP. And Stone Cold just Stone Cold stung his ass last week. So, for eliminating him at the Royal Rumble, you don't eliminate Stone Cold Steve Austin. But another man who's been using the Stone Cold Steve Austin finisher is Kevin Owens. And my mind is ready for this match. KO is ready. And he's hyped up. Here tonight on Monday Night Raw. Kevin Owens is a Monday Night Raw superstar these days. I, am, I, I thought he'd be more of a SmackDown guy, but he was he was he came to Monday Night Raw and demanded it's been a flagship show to get more opportunities. We'll find out. Kevin Owens 
is alive, but uh oh, Eric Rowan. Oh no, this we now I don't think we ever seen this match, Eric Rowan and Kevin Owens. But these men with new tattoos. Oh my god. Eric Rowan, we never seen Eric Rowan with tattoos for the first time in his career. We see him with tattoos. And big boots to Kevin Owens. And he's a freaking monster. Rowan is a monster. Former tag team champions. Former he's a former champion here in WWE. Oh. Uh oh. Kevin Owens going right after in the corner now. He's looking for a he's on the top rope. What are you doing, Kevin Owens? What do you think you're gonna do? On the top rope here. Cannonball! Oh my god. Impressive cannonball from Kevin Owens. Two. The man known as Rowan. They're going right after Kevin Owens. Rowan. Huge splash in the corner. My god. Rowan's a monster. He's a beast. You don't just... You don't go lightly on this man. He's really Kevin Owens in the corner again. Oh! Shots right again to the corner. Running... He's just running to him. What's, what's Roman thinking here now? What is he doing? KO sign. KO fan in the crowd. Roman is a fast beast. Oh! Smith that. KO reversed it. Close line. Then Roman goes for the cover. One. Two. Three. No! Roman kicks out at two. I call him Eric Rowan. So Eric Rowan. Oh. Again, the shots firing from Roman. He's not going to let down. He's a beast, like I said. It's like someone a splash in the corner. Eric Rowan. This is a match. His first match on Monday Night Raw since like a couple of years, I believe. He's been on SmackDown. He was undrafted to Monday Night Raw. He's not been seen since the new era that much. Oh, Rowan destroying! Holy crap! Oh my God! Jesus Christ, you can hurt a man like that big boot. Missed the shot. Rolling. Back and forth, these two men are going at it. You can put these two men, you can put Rolling against anybody. That'll be entertaining, I guess, if you play against Kevin Owens. Oh! Huge boot again. Not good situation for Kevin Owens right now. Oh! Kevin Owens reversed in stutter to Rowan. Oh my god, Kevin Owens is. Rowan like that, I can't believe it. Eric Rowan has been just slayed by the new stunner in town, Kevin Owens. I'm surprised. Kevin Owens is one of the greats on Monday Night Raw history. But wait a minute, Shane McMahon! Shane McMahon's here, what? No! Oh! Shots! Headbutt from Kevin Owens to Shane McMahon. Ke Shane McMahon wants revenge. Oh no. After three weeks, after a couple weeks, cannonball! After two weeks ago. Oh my god. Kevin Owens, this Shane McMahon just begging for mercy. And a stunner to Kevin, from Kevin Owens to the McMahon, son of, uh, son of Chris McMahon. I did not expect that. But the next is a Viper, Randy Orton, going one on one with a man known as a monster. Devil's favorite demon, Kane, on Monday Night Raw, the winner of the match. We're facing the Fiend Bray Wyatt at the Elimination Chamber for the World Heavyweight Championship. I am so excited for this match because we got two favorites here. Who do you guys think is going to win this match? Will it be Randy Orton or will it be Kane? Because one of these men Ray lost the World Championship two weeks ago at the Royal Rumble. But tonight, Randy has another opportunity. Was it a week ago? I don't know. Well, Randy has another chance. At history, at the Fiend, he lost. He lost the championship less than Undertaker squashes John Cena at WrestleMania in 2018 in real life. But in arguments, no, that match happened in 34 WrestleMania. But it was a better match, not a squash match. But that's something you gotta say. Randy lost the match. I don't believe it. Like, it's shocking to me. Okay, it's the okay. His first match back in the WWE. Is Mayor Knox Carrington seem to find out if he'll put on the victory here tonight? Is that really done so much in 2019? 2020 could be the year. Can we see Kane back? Can we see all these legends come back? We'll be seeing John Morrison come back. We'll be seeing Kane come back. We've seen John Cena come back. We've seen MVP come back. We've seen 
It's like the 2009s again. Like, I'm surprised. Uh oh, Randy Orton is not gonna wait. He's a viper, the legend killer, Randy Orton. He's not gonna back down. This can oh RKO RKO the bell drum. Oh, is it gonna be VK? Oh my God, he's gonna VK. No. Oh my God, I thought it was it. King, the, the, the claw, the claw move. Oh my God, Randy. He's trying to power it out. Stopped Kane in his tracks. Oh my. Body slam Kane. Reverse that. Kane with a choke slam. No. Kane could not go for a choke slam there. Randy goes right after Kane. Listen to the fans. Kane, you shot to the back of Randy Orton. Oh. Has him right there. Kane going for a choke slam. Straight to hell. That's going to be it. Kane. Are you. No. One. Oh my god, he defeats Randy Orton. Kane is getting to the Elimination Chamber to face off against the Fiend Bray Wyatt. Oh, speak out the Fiend. I knew it, the Fiend would be here tonight. Bray Wyatt. The Fiend Bray Wyatt is here. On Monday Night Raw, he's there. Oh, 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 oh my god. Menable Claw to Kane. Interesting. Kane is done. You can't stand a fiend. No. Nope. Oh my freaking hell. Kane just sat up. Who sat up from a commendable claw in their life? Kane with a claw to, to Bray Wyatt. But the fiend Bray Wyatt's hurt. The only time I seen that attitude are when mankind did it. Oh my god. Kane. Kane. Bray Wyatt has Kane. What is he going for to get him out of the ring? Uh oh. Kane with shots to the Fiend. The Fiend Bray Wyatt is hurt. He's hurt. Kane upside down Bray Wyatt. Tombstone pile driver. Oh my god, this is gonna be a, this is gonna be a hell of a match. Two demons, two men from hell. Two men going at it for one prize on Monday Night Raw World. Heavyweight Championship. Kane is a former world champion. Can he become a two time world champion at the Elimination Chamber? We'll find out. They're coming soon. Whenever the Elimination Chamber will be. But my goodness, what just happened? CM Punk is here to address what he, his actions last week. One of the greats. If you've seen Monday Night Raw last week, I attacked Triple H. I challenged him to a WrestleMania match after I successfully won my Royal Rumble match. Now, I did not want to take an opportunity like that from a real superstar. Somebody else deserved to win the Royal Rumble, but guess what? I could not get, I couldn't even stand it. Vince McMahon told me if I won the Royal Rumble, I can face anyone who I want. If I can't have a one-on-one -on -one match with Triple H because he said no, Triple Mr. McMahon said if I can win the Rumble, then I could face him. But you know what he told me? He said no. I injured Triple H. His lower back is busted. And you know what? I feel good about that. But you know what? I'm not satisfied yet. I'm not satisfied. I want Triple H at WrestleMania. I want to end your career, Triple H. Your time is up. You try to end my career, I'm trying to end yours. And Vince McMahon, if you're not gonna let me have this match, I know you're not in tonight, cause you know, you're a little, you're a little like late. But I know we're in Los Angeles next week, so you know what? I'll head to you in your headquarters if you're not here next week. So Vince McMahon, if it's you or the Triple H, cause at the Elimination Chamber, I might want to fight somebody. And if you're not retired yet, how about you and me screw off in the ring? Or are you just scared? Like your freaking son in law is afraid of the one and cult of me. So, both of your asses are gonna get kicked by me, and I will destroy your whole company if you don't let me get my revenge. You caused this, Vince, and you're next to go to sleep, and I will end your career as a professional wrestler. CM Punk is a crazy guy. Who just said, oh, yeah, he wants to. He wants that match. Coming up next is an Extreme Rules main event 
for the Raw Women's Championship between the Raw new Raw Women's Champion Becky Lynch, the former Raw Women's Champion Ronda Rousey, Asuka, and Charlotte Flair. What a match we're about to see here on this show. I cannot really understand what has really been going on. Let's see, I'm punk about to great while with Asuka's here. We have to save some time. I'm sorry, Asuka, but we have to save the entrance. For the Rowdy Ronda Rousey, the former Raw Women's Champion. You know, Shayna Baszler will be looking to smash. She'll be looking at who's going to win the smash. Ronda Rousey is a main event worthy superstar. She's a badass. She's the baddest woman on the planet. And what else do you expect? She's the Ronda she's the Brock Lesnar in the women's division, basically. She's a special attraction. And here tonight, Rowdy, Ronda Rousey is having enough of waiting. It's her time, and she's going to get it. Her match. But it's a fit of match, because, you know, people had to stick up their nose. Charlotte Flair is the one to take all of it away. She's the woman to have all the success begging for an opportunity. And now she's getting this opportunity. She's a flair that begs for mercy. She begs for opportunities like this now. And well, Charlotte Flair, your time is up. Becky's time is now. Because the man is about to end your whole career. And Becky Lynch knows all these women. The Rollins, the Rollins champion Becky Lynch, the badass that she is. She get no Fs wherever she, wherever she's fighting. She'll just take them down and end the whole career. She took down Ronda Rousey after the Royal Rumble. She can take her down again. Wow. Becky Lynch is the best right now. Man, the myth, the legend. The man, possibly, to maybe win event at WrestleMania. Maybe if the women have the best WrestleMania match. It depends. Which one, which match, if Ronda, if it's like Ronda and Sh um, Shayna like last year again in a rematch, then maybe, I mean, this fight at last year's WrestleMania, it could be a redemption story for Shayna Baszler, we'll find out. The fatal forward match is here. And Ronda already taken down Becky Lynch, but Oscar went right after Charlotte Flair. You know these four women have success here in the WWE. Now my voice is getting a little tired, but um, just have to commentate. But Ronda Rousey has been UFC Heavyweight Champion. For, this is a whole Fame in the UFC on July 5th, 2018. My birthday does home fame induction for Ronda Rousey. She's the Raw Women's Champion. She was former Raw Women's Champion since 2018 SummerSlam. And to all it end in such a weird fashion at the Royal Rumble 29, 2020. Shocking to me. Here we have Becky Lynch, the Raw Women's Champion. Former SmackDown Women's Champion twice. And now finally winning the Raw title on the red brand. Here we have Asuka. Who formerly won the SmackDown Women's title a few times in 2018 and 2019. Here you have Charlotte Flair. She's won a lot of championships, like five already on the main roster. So, like, she's done a lot of things. She's a future Hall of Fame in the women's division, I guess you can say. One of the greatest of all time. Possibly the greatest of all time. We'll find out. Roddy Ronda Rousey now going right after. Oscar, this is a double team on Oscar. She won a lot of matches, but Becky Lynch looking to fight Ronda Rousey only in suplex. And th this action going right outside the ring here. It's a WrestleMania main event where they triple fit or fully match really. And a DDT from Rowdy Ronda Rousey. To Rowdy Ronda Rousey, my sorry. Becky Lynch, superplex. And oh, Charlotte gonna talk them, but Charlotte executely reverse that. Tackles. Becky Lynch down to the ground. I am sh little shocked right now. Becky Lynch is taken down once again. Everyone's going after Becky. Neck breaker from Charlotte Flair to Ronda Ronda Rousey. Oscar going right after Becky Lynch. It's a shocker. I am surprised here. Okay, we're now 
Oh! Shut up, we're going to get a chair. A steel chair in that, but no. Maybe not yet. Maybe not gonna go for that yet. Short Flair is a cocky heel, but brother Rousey with a steel chair to take down Charlotte Flair. Oh my god. Why Charlotte Flair? Why Ronda Rousey? Why? Oscar now in control of Becky Lynch neckbreaker. And Ronda Rousey continues to go in after Charlotte Flair outside the ring. On the steel steps. My god, give me a break. Ronda Charlotte Flair is hurt. My goodness. And oh, wait, wait. Becky Lynch with back exploder suplex. And is she going for a pinfall here? Two. Kick out from Asuka. Becky Lynch is shocked. Steel chair from Charlotte to on the head of Asuka. What is this match become? Oh. Charlotte Flair in the hands. Becky reversed it. But oh, wait. Asuka going right after the baddest woman on the planet. Everyone's targeting her. Charlotte Flair gonna retort her father's signature move. I am shocked. Incredible. Charlotte Flair going for a combat move now. It's time to go for it. Charlotte Flair goes for it. Oh my goodness. A candlestick. Once again, Charlotte Flair. Oh, taken down. But Becky now with a candlestick. She's a badass and a bad. I even. Becky Lynch is. Give her everything. She's the, she's the man. Why is she only getting in a freaking like title match now? Why is she in a Fatal Four match? She can just take them all down. She's a wild singles of matches. She'll take them all down. She don't give no rats. She'll take them all down. No, Charlotte Flair with that kendo stick. And what is Ronda Rousey doing? She glitched as Becky saw back exploder on the steel chair from Becky to Charlotte Flair. And Becky Lynch takes down Oscar here. What a Monday Night Raw episode main event this will be for the women's. It's time for the women's division. Charlotte Flair. Oh, face first. Becky Lynch is rolling out of the ring. And Asuka going for a pinfall. No, neck breaker. And Ronda Rousey with that steel chair to Asuka. That's going to really hurt her. Asuka takes the chair down. Oh, she has the chair now. What's she going to do? Go outside the ring. Away from Rousey. She's taking the steel chair down. She does not want to win like that. Oops. Body slam from Sharp Becky Lynch. Oh no. Oh! Becky Lynch. Oh. With that Kevin Sling to break up that pink phone now. You're not gonna win the. Oh! Takes down again. Charlotte Flair with that steel chair. Becky Lynch with that candlestick. stick. And what a battle she is now looking for. The ending now. Becky Lynch, with the disarmor, armbar is locked in on Charlotte Flair, but Becky Lynch goes, she knows she can't do it, not quite, she can't have that, she can't have it in like that for a long time, not yet, she's waiting for a I cannot believe this, oh, Becky Lynch, she's looking for another disarmor, armbar on Charlotte Flair, and she has it, the camera's shaking, it's incredible shriek and Ronda the Rousey looking at it. But for some reason, Becky Lynch let go, but she's going for a pinfall. Is Charlotte Flair gonna kick out of this? The title was on the line. And well, Charlotte Flair kicked out. Becky with a candlestick again, adding to another match into an incredible rivalry. And adding to another glitch in WWE 2K20 where Ronda the Rousey can't even get a steel chair. And now. Oh, Asuka has Ronda Rousey. Oh, on the freaking barricade back and forth. Becky Lynch looking to finish the match. Looking to finish off Charlotte Flair. Like she has many, many times before. Is she going to do this armor again for the third time to Charlotte Flair? But she lets go. 
if you're not gonna, if you're gonna, not gonna win the match, you're gonna get into it. Thank you, going for a pinfall again. Two, Charlotte again kicks out. Body slam from Rowdy Ronda Rousey. Thank you, that Kendall stick. Oh my God, I am really shocked right now. This has so many. Oh, again, and back and forth. Ah, uh, yikes. And Becky looking to stop Rada with a candlestick. She got him down. Becky Lynch takes down Charlotte Flair. Convincing fashion. Oh, oh Becky Lynch takes down Ronda Rousey. I don't believe it. Back exploder. So again, everyone's down, but Oscar, Oscar on the outside of the ring. Oh, she looking for a weapon now. Change of part with a sludge hammer. My God. Oh, takes down Ronda Rousey. Oh, Charlotte Flair takes down Becky Lynch with, like on her legs. But what? Oscar Spear, Spear from Charlotte Flair goes for the top of the one. Not even a one. Charlotte Flair is in, it's impossible. But Becky Lynch, oh, they stopped the armbar. Ronda's going on the armbar on on Oscar. Incredible match so far on Monday Night Raw for the Raw Women's Championship. Let's say WrestleMania made that worthy match. How does Charlotte Flair kick up like that? Impossible. Roddy Ronda Rousey and Charlotte Flair going around suplex. From Charlotte, from Ronda Rousey. You know what that sludge hammer? Oh my god, hitting Oscar with the sludge hammer. Jesus Christ, did he kill somebody with the sludge hammer? My god. But Becky Lynch with the disarmor. It's all over now. Becky Lynch is all over. She's gonna tap out Oscar for the Raw Women's Championship. No. Let's go. But Ronda Rousey, body, no. Oh, slamming. Ronda to the mat, mat. I'm just gonna go for African Ronda. Ronda Rousey is her DDT from Becky Lynch to Charlotte Flair. What a match! And one woman can be submitted and pinned. And one person can win the championship. Ronda Rousey, she's looking at the spectrum for the submission on Charlotte Flair, but it's still not able to stop. Oh, uh, angle slam from Ronda Rousey. My goodness. Uh oh. Charlotte Flair is down. Becky Lynch. What is this? Ronda Rousey slamming her to the ground. And now, one woman left. Rowdy Ronda has caught the sludge hammer. And oh, Ronda. The Oscar takes her down and eliminates her like it's a war woman match. With a candlestick. She's looking to get Ronda with the candlestick, but she's looking to stop. She's stuck a little bit. Wow, shops. Oh, bump. oh, Oscar took her. Well, Becky took her down. Incredible move. Ronda Rousey going for a steel chair, but cannot get that chair. But she's stuck in the middle of the corner there. And Charlotte and Ronda Rousey going to fight it out. Becky Lynch with a back exploder. Suplex to. Well, Oscar. And what is Ronda just taunting and taking down? Charlotte Flair, but Becky going to talk this a four and a half star match. Oh, oh, it's time. The summer time. It's Charlotte Flair. Is Becky Lynch going to tap out? Oscar. Charlotte Flair could not do it. Oscar taps out. And still, your Raw Women's Champion, ladies and gentlemen. Becky Lynch is still the champion of Monday Night Raw Women's Division. I cannot believe it. My God. God. Your winner of the match is still the champ and he's going she's going to WrestleMania to fight well I guess Shayna Baszler or Shayna will choose for SmackDown. I don't know. But congratulations on Becky Lynch for the toughest challenge for her career so far. Wait a minute, it is this? Oh my it's all, the NXT Women's Champion, 
Shayna Baszler. Oh my goodness. With head to head. With Becky Lynch. Oh my god. For the first time ever, she choosing Becky Lynch at WrestleMania for the Raw Women's Championship. Is she gonna choose her? Oh, how is Becky Lynch? Oh, attacking her. The strength and flexibility of Shayna Baszler. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Shayna looks like chosen her superstar. Becky Lynch. Maybe. You don't know. Oh no. What I do know is this can't be good. Oh my god, the chokehold. The submission chokehold from Shayna Baszler to Becky Lynch. She's gonna she's she, it's not even a it's not even a mess. She's gonna get hurt. Oh my god. Shayna Baszler looks to have chosen Becky Lynch. Oh my god, revenge! The friends! She's friends with Ronda Rousey. But we're their enemies now. They, I mean, Ronda. Basil said she would love to have a rematch at WrestleMania with Ronda Rousey, but Becky the champ now. And oh! Face first into the apron. And now. Why? Stop this, Shayna Baszler. To the top rope, elbow drop! My god. Not gonna let up. Shayna doesn't even give a damn who you are. She'll destroy you and your entire career. Again, attacking Lynch. Unstop this. This has to be stopped. Oh my goodness. Shayna Baszler looks to have chosen her opponent for WrestleMania. This can be a match. And this, if it is, it could be a WrestleMania main event worthy match. Lynch is tapping. Lynch has tapped. I can't believe what I've just seen. We'll find out what happens next week on Monday Night Raw.